Hello everyone, I'm Unique Active, and today I will show you how to install the texture overhaul a lot for Mass Effect 3. If you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison video with and without the upgraded textures, click on the pop-up in the top right corner or check out the description for the link. Now, let's get right into the installation. Step 1. Download the files. First, go to the mod page and in the download section, pick your preferred method of downloading. I recommend using the torrent version, which will likely be faster than the mirror and also has the advantage of preventing file corruption. But if you're going to use the mirror, also download the hash check utility to make sure that your file is not corrupt. You will find the links and instructions to everything on the mod page and in the video description. Step 2. Backup. Alright, this step is very important. Back up your game folder. If anything goes wrong, you'll be able to restore the game to its initial state in a very short time, instead of having to download everything over again. Your game files are either in the Origin Games or Steam Library folder, whichever application you use to buy and download the game. Just copy the whole Mass Effect 3 folder to a different location before changing anything about the files. Step 3. Start the game. Now this might not make sense to you, but it will in a second. So, the first time that you start up the game, Mass Effect 3 creates some files in your documents folder, including an important config file that is modified by the mod. So if you don't have the file while installing, then the mod is probably not going to work. So, before installing, make sure that you have started the game at least once. Step 4. Installation. Alright, so once you finish downloading the files and backing everything up, it's time to get to the installation. To install a lot, extract the downloaded zip file and double click on the Mass Effect Modder executable. If you installed Mass Effect on the C drive, run Mass Effect Modder as administrator to make sure that it has full permissions. Once you launch the program, you will get this installation prompt. Now this is the simple installer mode. I will probably have another video about the standard mode to show you how to install other mods, so just take a look at the description if you are interested in that. Now simply click on check. If you get an error message telling you that the game is not in its vanilla state, that means that something is wrong about your game files. This is either because you modified them or because something went wrong while downloading the game. If you get that message and didn't modify any files, delete the Mass Effect 3 folder and reinstall the game, then do the full procedure again. If you're fine though, simply click on Start to finish installing the mod. Depending on whether or not you have the game installed on an SSD or regular hard drive, your installation speed will vary between less than half an hour to more than an hour. Mine took about one and a half hours on an old external hard drive, so yours shouldn't take much longer than that. Now there is an optional change that you can make which will unlock your frame rate from 60fps by disabling vsync and increasing the maximum smooth frame rate. This will be useful for people with high refresh rate monitors. So just paste these four lines into your gamersettings.ini file in the documents and save the changes. For additional tweaks you can also check out the two articles that I linked in the description. If you now open up your game, you should see this text in the background of the main menu. If you encounter any issues, take a look at the FAQ section on the mod page, and if you didn't find a solution there, try asking people on the dedicated Discord channel. Thank you for watching. If this was helpful to you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future Mass Effect content. I hope you have a very nice day, and I'll catch you later.